Hey, what's up, guys? So, everybody's pretty much seen the news at this point. Um, <laughs> and we've all already got that that early sense of salt coming in because of the news, but unfortunately, it is true. Arc System Works has put out a, a statement saying that Guilty Gear Strive is going to be delayed. So, they're coming out with a statement saying that it's going to be pushed back from April 9th to about June 11th. And we got a full statement here that we're going to read on Twitter. So, it starts, and I quote... Dear customers, we have made the tough decision to move the release date of Guilty Gear Strive, previously planned for April 9, 2021, to June 11, 2021. Since we have received valuable feedback after the recent open beta test, we would like to make the most of this opportunity to provide the best game possible. We need extra time to polish at some aspects of this game, such as the online lobbies and the server stability. We believe it's best to use the extra time to improve the game's quality and provide a better experience to all our players. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Guilty Gear Strive development team, Arc System Works. Now, you can't you, you can't really hate on a delay like this if it's out of necessity. Because that was a huge source of feedback when it came to the game, not only because of, you know, some things, you know, function-wise, because the game is genuinely broken in some aspects. Like, Kai could cause, like, the UI to flip. There's, like, the flash main glitch with, you know soul in general and then there's a bunch of other random bugs that are still occurring but one of the biggest you know pieces of feedback that people were putting all throughout social media was the lobby system and just obviously the general stability of the you know the lobby because if you can't get in if you can't log in if the servers don't work all the best rollback in the world doesn't matter so it makes sense like i know i'm a little bit like man i wish it would come out sooner but this kind of transparency is something we always ask for from devs. And now that we've received it, we should really take it at face value and be a little bit more appreciative of it. We're always going to be salty when the thing we want comes out later, even if, even if it's for the good of the product and then our satisfaction too. That instant gratification is not going to come in the scope of April 9th like how we initially expected. Um, I keep looking back at it. I'm just like, man, I was so hyped. I've been so ready. I started going back and trying to play other Guilty Gears in preparation for the game, even though it's completely different. But it's just to, you know, get my feet wet because I'm relatively new to Guilty Gear. I only tried new Guilty Gear when it came. I'm new to Guilty Gear and started trying it with Plus R. And that was a little bit after that rollback update came out on Steam. And then I tried playing um, Rev 2 recently. The game's lit. Uh, I'm still trying to play more of that, too. And there's going to be a few videos of that coming up soon. But... Strive is definitely the thing that's brought me into Guilty Gear for sure. Um, just how new it feels, how fresh it feels, the connectivity. I was playing people from where I'm at right now in Japan, up north. I was playing people on the east coast of the U.S. in like New York, Florida. Um, obviously, connecting with people on the west coast feels even better than it already does on some rollback games. But like, it was almost like immaculate. Like, it was kind of crazy that it felt like I was genuinely getting to play offline in an online experience in this day and age because to be honest it's something that we've kind of been due to have it's something that we should have had for a long time but we just look at it and we're just like man we finally get something this dope that'll be accessible in such a large scope because it'll be on sony console like it'll be on ps5 ps4 it'll be on steam but there's also the potential for the um the crossplay element which means that people will come together and have access to this game, which puts us in the point where we should be when it comes to fighting games online. So, in general, it's like, yes, it sucks that this is delayed, but I don't think it's such a bad thing that it's like, you know, we can't live without it, we can't go without it, because it's only, it's only a two-month pushback. All things considered, that's better than when we got pushed back from all the years of waiting on, like, Cyberpunk or hearing news for the next, like, Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy or anything like that so we still have games to play in the meantime there's a lot of games to support communities to support um obviously if you're a guilty gear head you can just stick with plus r um you can stick with rev to within your acceptable means of connection for what you can take um i'm obviously a supporter of games that you know portray good online connectivity key term is rollback that people have been using lately but if it's good online in general i still support it if it's well developed i'll support it but rollback has been like the hot button for a lot of people for a lot of games uh, recently, especially when it comes to fighting games. So if they're doing everything they can to make sure that this is going to bang as soon as it comes out and it's going to keep people as opposed to it just being dope because it's a solution that we should have had, I'll support this delay wholeheartedly. 
And it sounds like that's the approach that they're taking. So I personally look forward to it. I know everyone on the timeline, on Twitter, Facebook is just like, oh, damn, you know, but it's not that bad, guys. Like, it's rough, but it's not bad, you know. Having to be told that, you know, your your order ain't ready yet is always just like the worst feeling in the world when you've been so hungry for something decent, especially after the year that we've had from the very beginning of 2020 through to now. People can't go to tournaments. People can't do what they want to do. A lot of um, in-person connection is just lost. So this doesn't fully replace that, but being able to have something that at least makes it easier for all of us in this time right now, I think it's something that we'll kind of appreciate as long as this product is given the time that it needs to be everything it can be. Plus, we have content for it coming out later on. So, not shilling for the game, but I'm definitely saying I'm here and I'm ready for it. So, I look forward to it. I look forward to everything that they got to do, everything they got to put in. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think it's kind of a necessary thing, especially with everything we saw. And if we had received this next month, I don't think they would have had enough time to fix everything that they needed to. Especially if they're going to revamp and fix some of the lobby stuff. Because that, to me, sounds like... They were not ready to go forward if everyone was displeased with almost as much stuff as they're sounding like in this message. If they're saying that they're going to fix the lobby system and rework the stability for the servers, that sounds like something that needs more time because the beta showed us all that people are looking for the next big thing and the next big thing is a game that everyone can connect with. Because when it worked, this is some of the best rollback people are going to be experiencing almost ever depending on what you can, you know, get your hands on and afford. But like I said, there's a lot of games that implement stuff like that. So take a look at games like Dance Fighting Herd, Skullgirls. Um, if you're interested in Killer Instinct, there's a lot of games that can tide you over if you just need something to connect with um, and you're a little bit further away. You have like the the good people over at Fightcade. Good people with an asterisk because I've seen some of the lobby chat. <laughs> But they're doing big things still, trying to make sure everybody can stay connected across multiple games. Like, there's just too many developers, too many teams, too many communities at work. Um, this is just going to be another step in the right direction, and it's a big step, and it's one that I'm looking forward for us all to take together. So, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the delay, and let me know what your expectations are. Let me know who you're going to be playing the Strive, man. It's, it's, it's around the corner. It's, it's a little bit further away, corner a little bit longer now, but it's, it's on the way. So, I look forward to talking to you guys. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.